in UK, many centres are London, Oxford, Conventry and Birmingham and in Germany they are Berlin, Stuttgart and Dusseldorf. Paris, Moscow, Tokyo and Sydney are other important car making centres. Pollution due to industries and its prevention The industries use raw materials, process them and produce finished products. Besides the finished products, a good number of by-products are produced. Out of all the by-products, if some are in huge quantities and the processing is cost-effective, the industrialist preserves the by-products. If the processing of waste is a cost-prohibitive one, then the industrialist throws the waste into the environment in the form of gas, liquid or solid. The gases are usually released into the atmosphere. The liquids are discharged into aquatic bodies like canals, rivers or sea and solid wastes are either dumped on land or in aquatic bodies. In all the cases, either the air or water or land is polluted due to dumping of wastes. Till now, there are about 17 industries which are declared to be most polluting. These include the caustic soda, cement, distillery, dyes and dye intermediaries, fertilizers, iron and steel, oil refineries, paper and pulp, pesticides and pharmaceuticals, sugar, textiles, thermal power plants, tanneries and so on. The nature of the industrial waste depends upon the industrial process in which these originate and the raw materials they use. Broadly, the industrial wastes may be divided into two groups. A. Process waste. The waste generated in an industry during washing and processing of raw materials is known as process waste. B. Chemical waste. The chemical substance generated as a byproduct during the preparation of a product is known as chemical waste product. The chemical waste include heavy metals and their ions, detergents, acids and alkalis and various other toxic substances. Prevention The implementation of control measures should be based on the principle of recovery or recycling of the pollutants and must be taken as an integral part of production, that is, never as a liability but always as an asset. Some important control measures are 1. Control at source It involves suitable alterations in the choice of raw materials and process in treatment of exhaust gases before finally discharged and increasing stock height up to 38 meters in order to ensure proper mixing of the discharged pollutants. 2. Selection of industry site The industrial site should be properly examined considering the climatic and topographical characteristics before setting of the industry. 3. Treatment of industrial waste The industrial waste should be subjected to proper treatment before their discharge. 4. Plantation Intensive plantation in the region considerably reduces the dust, smoke and other pollutants. 5. Stringent government action Government should take stringent action against industries which discharge higher amounts of pollutants into the environment than the level prescribed by Pollution Control Board. 6. Assessment of the environmental impacts Environmental impact assessment should be carried out regularly which intends to identify and evaluate the potential and harmful impacts of the industries on natural ecosystem. 7. Strict Implementation of Environmental Protection Act Environment Protection Act should be strictly followed and the destroyer of the environment should be strictly punished.